Hello everyone, welcome to the RoboSim Virtual Robotics class. In this lesson, we will learn the basic content of the Visual Line Patrol application. First let's understand, in what scenarios will the robot use Visual Line Patrol. We can open the RoboSim software. Click on Training in the home page. Then click on Outward Bound and choose the Training Venue 1. You can first observe the venue, you can find this venue can simulate the real road scene, and the line is relatively wide. There are also some traffic signs on the road, which requires the robot to be able to recognize the road and traffic signs. We can make the robot use the visual line patrol to follow the line from the starting point to the end point. Next, let's learn the basic principles of visual line patrol. If you want the robot to implement the Visual Line Patrol, you need to use the AI Vision Module. The AI Vision Module is an electronic device integrated with artificial intelligence algorithms, which can collect and recognize images in the simulation site and return the recognition results. Then, we're going to build a robot. On the body of the robot, an AI Vision Module is installed to recognize roads and traffic signs. Let's go back to the RoboSim software, switch to the building interface, and click here to load the Explore Type 2 robot. We can add some decorative structure to it. After the robot is built, you can switch to the simulation interface. Click here to display the data panel and the data window of the AI Vision Module. On the data window of the AI Vision module, there is the picture seen by the camera. Click the button in the upper right corner to show or hide the screen. The four values in the screen are shown from left to right as left width, offset value, right width, and task ID. Next, let's learn about the offset value. On the data window of the AI Vision module, you can see a dotted line, which is called the baseline, which is the auxiliary line for road recognition. Intersecting the baseline with the road edge gives two intersection points. This one point is the midpoint of the baseline. And the left width value is the distance between the midpoint of the baseline and the left intersection point. The right width value is the distance between the midpoint of the baseline and the right intersection point. The offset value is the value obtained by subtracting the left width value from the right width value. If we move the robot left or right like this, we'll see that the offset value changes as the robot's position changes. Through the test just now, we can find that when the robot is completely centered on the road, the returned offset value is zero. When the robot is more to the left, the returned offset value is negative and will become smaller and smaller. The minimum value is minus 127. When the robot is more to the right, the defined value is a positive number, and it will become larger and larger, with a maximum value of 127. By using the change rule of the offset value, the robot can realize the function of visual line patrol. For example, when the offset value is zero, the robot can be moved straight forward. When the offset value is 44, the robot can make a small turn to the left. When the offset value is 106, the robot can make a large turn to the left. When the offset value is minus 52, the robot can make a small turn to the right. When the offset value is minus 104, the robot can make a large turn to the right. Therefore, the visual line patrol is that the robot uses the AI vision module to identify the line and changes the direction of travel according to the size of the offset value so as to ensure that the robot can walk along the line. If we place the robot near a certain traffic sign, and this traffic sign appears in the camera screen of the AI Vision module, we can get the ID number of this traffic sign. If this traffic sign is not recognized, the returned ID number is zero, 